All right, so as I promised last week on my Facebook and Twitter, I'm going to review one of my favorite games, which is also one of the most underrated games of all time. Shadow of the Colossus. All right, so I was going to wait for the HD remix that's coming out for the PS3 before I reviewed this for you guys. Then I went to Video Games Live and they played one of the themes to Shadow of the Colossus and I just couldn't wait anymore. So Shadow of the Colossus is a pretty simple concept, actually. In this faraway land that looks like... Peter Jackson presents Shadow of the Colossus. This young guy brings his chick to this altar. His chick's dead. Lays her down. Then this voice from above that sounds like... Pretty much says, Okay, dude, I'll bring back your chick as long as you take out these 16 Colossi who are terrorizing the world. And so that's what you do. That is literally your task. You go out and you take out these 16 Colossi. You don't level up your weapons. You don't talk to townspeople. Nothing boring. You go from the beginning and straight from boss battle to boss battle to boss battle. 16 fights... 16 bosses, 16 puzzles, 16 colossi. And it's really cool because, yeah, there are puzzles in the game, but the colossus is the puzzle. You go up against these things, you see them, and you're like, you're a speck, you're nothing. That's not even one of the biggest ones right there. That's one of the smaller ones. There are smaller ones than him. There are much bigger ones than him. And you have to find a way to take these things out. You can't just go and hack and slash them. I mean, you're an ant. This thing is there. You're here. You're that big in comparison to him. You have your surroundings. You have him. You have your sword. And you need to use your brain to figure out how to take him out. I'm not gonna lie, there are many times you're gonna be like, I don't know. I have no idea. And there are all sorts of different colossi too. There's like big ones that walk upright, ones that walk on all fours, ones that are really fast, ones that fly. How do you take out a flying colossus? Really? Play the game, use your brain, you'll find out. I'm not one for game fact or like going online and looking into things. I mean, I'll do it if I really crack and I'm like, this is, dude, just give me the secret. Get seriously. I like figuring them out, but if they don't matter, they don't matter. Do not Google how to take these things out. That's like what the game's all about. And what I like is the music. The music really goes with the tone of this game. Like when you first meet a colossus, the music's really dreary. You don't know what to do. The music absolutely reflects that. And when the game figures out that you figured out how to take this thing down and you're crawling up his leg and you're grabbing onto his hair and you're just climbing, the music becomes this really heroic score. And this thing knows it's in deep shit. So it's trying to shake you off. You're like this little G.I. Joe hanging off his like head and his arm and then you just rev up and you start stabbing his ass. It's badass, dude. Seriously? And you just know that the last thought that goes to the mind of this colossus after you take him down is, are you shitting me now, dude? This is bullshit. Because I can only compare it to like, imagine a butterfly takes you down. That's the same as you taking down a colossus. Coolest thing is when you see one walking away and you take your bow and arrow and blast it at him and his back is turned and then he turns around like this and looks at you see his eyes turn red and he starts walking towards you you're just like fuck my life i'm dead and then when you take him down try to tell me you do not feel like king kong on cocaine seriously now i'll say it's one of my favorite games but it's not meant for everyone it's just not there are people who will be like oh, this game's boring all you do is ride a horse and take out these 16 big ass beasts and make you feel like a badass this is stupid where's master chief but i will say not every game has this kind of recommendation from me if you have a PlayStation 2, yeah, sorry, Xbox people, it's PlayStation exclusive, it's Sony. Not only should you play this game, you have to play the game. And the Ico Shadow of the Colossus combo in HD is coming out for the PlayStation 3 really soon. I have beaten this game a few times, but never in HD. Yeah, it has to happen. I think the game's probably 10, 12 hours, maybe. Doesn't matter. Best 10 or 12 hours you've played. And your horse, your horse is a straight up badass. If you're thrown down with this Colossus, you can call your horse. Your little horse runs up, starts bucking at the Colossus. He's not doing anything to him, but the horse has heart. Right. Sorry, Epona from Zelda. Aggro from Shadow of the Colossus. That was my horse. I mean, the horse has got to be one of the greatest supporting characters in games, like, period. Not just pets, but, like, characters. And for a game with no dialogue, that's really saying something. Shadow of the Colossus is the very definition of epic. Best I can describe it. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.